May the 6th, 2019. As you're looking at Earthquake 3D, and we've had a very powerful 7.2 uh, earthquake down around Papua New Guinea, and I've been watching the sunspot come around, and I've always said that when you start seeing explosions coming off the sun, especially during Grand Solar Minimum, as we decline into that era, the uh, weakened shields of our planet have less force, we, it's kind of like a force field, to protect us from these events. Increased solar winds, it caused quakes, uh, coronal mass ejections, and solar flares, and we've been seeing an uptick on these solar flares for the last few days because of that returning sunspot. Also, and we'll look at that, but there's a second sunspot that is developing behind this one, so we're going to have a training event. But guys, if you look at this uh, quake, 7.2, Papua New Guinea, you're looking at what's called the shell, and that's the impact area. Very large for 7.2 quake. Check that out. You're talking about about a third or fourth of the planet as far as size. And you do have a shock wave. Guys, if uh, there's been reports at night just before or at the beginning of an earthquake of these bright lights. And if you've ever studied uh, piezoelectronics, it's when you have two quartz crystals rub against each other like in some of the old cigarette lighters and other things. You create an electric spark. And that when you have massive uh, shifting in, say, uh, marble or granite or quartz, you're going to have that same friction or piezoelectric effect, and that will cause those lights. And they're reported during these major quakes. Let's look at the sun a moment. Today, as this sunspot's turning more Earth-facing, look at the different activity. And these are what's called a GOES X-ray flux. We're getting this out of Boulder, Colorado. And uh, guys, you're seeing these uh, spikes here, and these uh, peaks that are continuing and getting larger. Now, your X flares do not start until you get to right here. Notice the X here. Anyway, we haven't seen flares this strong in a long time, and I've said time and time again, no matter what these meters are reading, because of our weak shields, the impact is greater. Also, look at your time stamps on these pulses. A strong one here, almost reaching to the M class, and um, the next one there. But it's just a continuing burst of flares coming off the sunspot. Let's take a look at it. Now, guys, we're looking at the Solar Dynamics Observatory. This is a satellite that gives us an Earth-facing perspective of our sun. The red shield in the center is what's called an occulter disk. It's part of the satellite and blocks the glare of the sun so that we can see the effects of these solar flares, coronal mass ejections. In other words, if they remove that red disk, the sun is so bright you wouldn't be able to see that, and that's what we see on the SDO. But the sun is actually the size of the white circle. Now look at your timestamp. We had a powerful uh, explosion on the 4th. Today on the 6th, guys, another one. Again, I said there's now two uh, sunspots instead of just one and possibly a third smaller behind that one. But uh, we had the explosion you just saw on the 4th and the 5th, a smaller one. But today, just before this earthquake, we had this explosion. And it's getting closer. Remember, it's a 14-day ro day rotation. We'll look at the sunspot. But guys, look at the timing of the earthquake. We are 93 million miles from the sun. That's an average, of course. The orbit orbit changes. Uh, it's an uh, elongated orbit. It gets a little further, gets a little closer, but the average is 93 million miles. It takes 8.2 minutes for a pro, uh, photon burst. Not proton, photon. That's light energy. 8.2 minutes for a burst from the sun to reach our planet. Now, if you have a coronal mass ejection or you have solar winds, it could take 24 to 48 hours because it's not as fast. Also, it's like cutting on a light bulb, guys. Uh, you get light from all angles. That flare, and we'll, again, which was um, right on the verge of going into the M and then the X class, happened at 8.2 minutes before this earthquake. 
that's why it's so important and i mentioned it uh, two or three videos ago that we have to watch this our shields are weak now guys don't think that i'm not watching what's going on in the swamp i am we're letting that play out keep up with it more and more of uh, the deep state are in panic and they're going down now i want to look at the sdo a minute now guys all the links in this video or all the images that you're seeing are coming from the links here many of you know it and you've known it for seven years your earthquakes and we just looked at the soho images now let's go to the solar dynamics observatory here and uh, it doesn't have a disc over the camera blocking the sunlight we actually get to look at the sun through many filtered images now switching satellites from soho to the solar dynamics observatory which also guys gives us an earth facing perspective of the sun but we see the sun itself the filters have to be very strong because of the brightness what you're seeing here are these flares you see that guys that's what you were seeing on the first graph out of boulder colorado these explosions are very strong the earth would fit into the very center of this area but notice we have a second sunspot coming it's a little lower and closer to the earth's equator which is closer to our planet but guys these explosions here and these flares again dealing with uh, photon energy or light energy travels at the speed of light 8.2 minutes before it impacts our planet you're going to have blackouts earthquakes you're going to have energy fed via the lines of force uh, that are uh, that make up our shield our magnetic shield that feeds into the core of the planet and the magma pools as they travel around again Guys, we've seen much stronger flares, but we were in a solar maximum a few years ago. And now we've come out of that. We're going into a grand solar minimum. We're going into climate chaos, not global warming. It's going to get cooler, not warmer. The weather patterns are going to be more extreme. Tornadoes, hurricanes, wind patterns, flooding in certain areas, droughts in others. So you've got to be prepared when you have weak shields and guys this is kind of a new science because we've been in you've got a 12 year 11.8 year average of these solar cycles which matches the orbit of the sun's gas twin jupiter so but you go through these 11.8 year cycles and they become uh, different because you go into grand solar maximums and grand solar minimums like we're going into now and you start seeing these many ice ages develop you'll have extreme weather but you'll see a, no a pattern from the northern hemisphere we've seen it this year of longer winters snow going further in and uh, into the spring things like that and in the 1860s we had a summer uh, a year without a summer cause massive crop damage so you got to be prepared and uh, i want to point out something on our website guys we've always uh tried to use sponsors that were pro uh survival we don't sell silver we don't sell gold you've heard me say that many times there's a golden rule three days without water you can survive after that your internal organs start dehydrating and shutting down you can go three weeks without food if you have water. This Alexa Pure system right here, again, there's no lower prices on the planet. We've been with uh, my Patriot Supply a long time. 100 bucks off, guys, 1.8 cents per gallon. That's a dollar a gallon for spring water or any other water at your grocery store. This is 1.8 cents a gallon. That's because this comes with one filter that's 5,000 gallons once you replace the filter for 90 bucks then it becomes less than a penny per gallon think about it and you can order multiple filters but you can get it from a lake river from your tap water you've seen uh the different images click here and go in and look at the information 99.9 percent .9 of all contaminants because of the charcoal filter uh system and what you've done is 
gained a very valuable tool for your family. You've helped us support our channel, but not on a risk. When you buy the Alexa Pure water filter, if you scroll down and you look at the freeze-dried foods and some of the other things that they have here, then guys, all the investments that you make that support this channel support your family. Keep you out of the FEMA food lines that are usually one way in and no way out. We appreciate it, guys. We're going to watch the sunspot. I think we're just seeing the problems. But, guys, we haven't had a 7.2 in quite a while. And I knew, and I said this for the last couple of days, that sunspot would give us trouble with our weekend shield. So be prepared. It's a heads up. Be safe.